So, what's going on? It's your boy Sam from Team Zamrex right here, and today I am still in Bangkok, Thailand, and we're gonna be going to the biggest OCG store here in Bangkok. I'm actually very excited. You guys saw my previous video when I was at Jacarade. You guys love that, and today, guys, I have a fan that's here in Bangkok. He messaged me. He's like, "Yo, Sam, you need to come to the store. I'm gonna show you around the biggest store in Bangkok, Thailand. So you gotta come." So I came all the way here to meet this fan over here. Yo, Kitty, come on out. Come on out, bro. Guys, guys right here, this is Kitty. Kitty, what's going on? Awesome. You're Thai? Yes, I'm Thai. He's Thai, he speaks Thai? I am Thai, Thai yes. I don't, I don't look like one, I am Thai, yes. Okay, he's Thai Indian, right? Yes. Thai Indian, he's been living in Thailand ever since, and today, you're gonna show me around the biggest store in Bangkok. Definitely. All right, guys, so this is Mega Plaza. Without further ado, let's go. All right, come on in. This is this is like the ma the biggest toy plaza in Bangkok. So it's a toy plaza. Yeah. So every, so like everything that has to do with, to do with like toy related is here. Yes. So like you Everything's have a lot of stuff. Here. There's like you know kids toys. There's uh, there's like uh, action figures. Action figures right there. Everything that uh, that that's remotely fun is here. All right. So there's like many stores here, guys. Yep. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. More toys? More toys. Every single toy is here, guys. Look at that. Cars. You guys want bootleg cars? Yeah. It's here. Everything's here, right, Kitty? <laughs> yep. Everything's here. All right. And, and, and how many floors are in this building? Uh, I think there's around like six floor. That's like a PS, PS4 store. Like, you know, everything to do with like the console. Consoles. Nice, nice. Seriously, I really recommend this place, like for you know, for those who really want, who visit Thailand and really want like you know any 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 sorts of toys or any sorts of like cards or even game it, uh, is really is really easy to find and it's also really cheap as well. Okay, so everything is literally really cheap here. It's like the biggest toy store in Thailand. Yes, I. So say it's like that. it's like a bigger version of Toys R Us. Exactly. <laughs> Rest in peace, Toys R Us. So explain the Yu-Gi-Oh scene here in the OCG. The Yu-Gi-Oh scenes in OCG, uh, in terms of like playing wise, player wise, popularity. Oh wow, um, players, players are really, I'd say players here in Thailand are really awesome. They're like, I'd say they're one of the top players in in the world. Oh really? Yeah, but they're, they're really underrated because. Uh, because they don't, they don't really have a chance to go out much because we just got official distributor like I think a, a year or two ago. Oh. Yeah, that's why we didn't have a chance to go to Nats. The last time I saw a Thai player top was uh, the Dragon Rule format. He was the third of, actually he was in the opposite side as well. He actually owned a store there. Oh damn. I'll take, I'll take you there. Okay, awesome. So, All right. this is the place. This is the place, guys. This is called, not magic. No. This is the place where they own a, the biggest, like, they're the biggest and they own the most OCG cards here in Bangkok. So they're literally the biggest store in Bangkok? Yes. Okay, so this is a store right here? Yeah, that's the store right there. So right here, okay. And we're gonna be showcasing their products over here All right. in a second. So how many stores do they have here? Uh, there's like one, two, like three, at least three that I know of. Three uh -huh. in this mall? Yeah. Damn. So what do you have? So what do you have? So this is the owner right here. Here's all the OCG products. Yeah. We're gonna be coming back here really soon, showcasing you guys their sleeves. Where do the players play here? Do the players? Follow me. Okay, so awesome. Right there. So what is it? So this is the playing area. This is a, this is a playing area. It's a bit small because a lot of because uh, there's more of product here and over here. But uh, this is where uh, this is where they uh, they do like you know deck testing, uh, mini tournaments, etc. More cost friendly in terms of like let's say uh, some of the really good cards in the OCG can be common where the um, you know can be common or rare where the TCG can, is most likely to be secret rare. Okay, so basically yeah. everything here in the OCG is yeah. definitely way cheaper than the TCGs. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, can you show me some of the products that they have here? So, All like, right. what are some of the popular products here in the in, in the OCG that people love a lot? Link Brains Pack, right there. So, this is where the uh, Crystal Needle Fiber is. Okay. The most broken car is in here. In the TCG, we actually do not have this. Like, we don't have this at all. Electrum's in there as well, as a super, by the way. What's the best set in the OCG ever? The best set in the, the OCG. Best set right now. Right now is called the Rarity Collection 2, which I think it's all sold out. How popular is it here? Um, I'd say the minute it was, uh, the minute it was announced, that you know they're gonna reprint you're gonna print this uh 
the pre-order was maxed out. Oh, pre-order was already maxed. Yeah. All right, awesome. Is it okay? Uh, do they have actually uh, some of the rarity collection cards here in the store for us to see? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, call fam reality. Kabung hapi. Kabung hap. Hello, swadi hap. Swadi hap. So these guys are the store owners, and, and this is the binder where all the rarity collection stuff is, right? Yeah. Uh, awesome. So let's take a look at the rarity collection. Okay. All right. Oh this my the, god. Um, all right. So they had us. They reprinted the sphere mode. Uh, oh my god. Wait, 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 what is this? This is kaiju. Um, what's his name? Gamma seal. Gamma seal. Gamma seal. As a secret rare. Is it okay if I take it out? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my. So so what rarity is this? This is secret rare. This this is the secret rare. Yeah. Guys, the card here looks absolutely incredible. Look yeah. look how beautiful it is. It it, it kind of looks like prismatic rare. Yeah. Man. It's, uh, it's secret rare prismatic rare. It's actually OCG I'm secret like, yeah. rare, which is different from the TCG secret rare because the TCG secret rare is more of like diagonal. Whoa. Yeah. Uh oh, kitty. What the heck this is, is this? This is also gamma seal. It's called the rarity of this is called um collector's rare. Collector's rare. What? Guys, do you guys see that? Yeah. It's like an ultimate rare. Yeah. Plus like shadow foil rare. Yeah. yeah. This is beautiful, man. It, it, it is. It is. I, I'd say this is the most beautiful rarity that I've ever printed. Even more beautiful than uh, the secret rare. Than the secret rare. Okay, yeah. awesome. So uh, let's take a look uh, more through this binder. Ultimate rare. Ultimate part rare. Of, uh, part of desire. Part Sorry. My part of Wally. So this is ulti. Ulti part of desire. Damn. Yeah. Beautiful. And wait. Uh, so this is all rarity collection. Yeah. This is all in rarity collection. So what they do here, I'll just quickly explain. Uh, they they put all the um, all the usable cards. Uh, all the usable cards like that, 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 yeah, like stables, like, you know, all, uh, any cards that was common and, like, stable, they, they reprinted it as rarity, so, like, they, they give it rarity to it, so there's, uh, there's, like, super rare, the secret rare, collector's rare, you know, depending on the, uh, on, on the card that you pull. Damn. Oh, Ooh, this is sphere mode, uh, ulti. Sphere mode ulti. Guys, look at this. Sphere what the heck is yeah. this? Oh my god, bro. It's so beautiful. It is. How do you break a goalkeeper board? <laughs> this is how, how to break, break a, a nightmare board. <laughs> Yo, bro, how do you break Steven's board? How do you break your that? This? Yes. Oh, Big fan of Steven. Big fan from Thailand, by the way. Okay, awesome. Bro, this is beautiful. This is, yeah. Kitty, look at this fairy tale snow. I love this card. I love this card. Wow. Yeah. This is our version of Duel Saga. They reprinted Crystal Wing for you as well. Um, TG for, you know, that comes with, you know, for Crystrons. Damn. <laughs> Man, right. this is awesome. If I could somehow get my hands on the rarity collection, yeah. how expensive is it? Um, okay, starting point, like, starting was, like, around, it cost me around $60 per box. But right now, it goes up to 120 maybe 100 per box. Smash that 2000 plus like button I'll go and find myself a rarity collection for you guys to open which costs about 3,000 baht I don't know where I'm gonna get that money but I'm gonna find it and get it for you guys if you guys smash that thumbs up button all right and here's here's all the the other products yeah, that we have uh, all the all the other products there's the, uh, the structure deck there's a uh, starter deck there's, okay this is the, the, yeah, the, the, the dino, dinosaur dinosaur the structure deck right the most broken boss monster ever okay so this is dinosaur structure deck dinosaur here structure deck, that's the uh, layer of darkness and that's the Pendulum Magician Structure Deck. Structure Deck. So which you don't have. <laughs> yeah. We don't. Sorry. We didn't get this in the TCG, bro. We got this as a, a, a booster box. A booster set. box. Yeah. Uh, that's that's that sucks. So every single thing that you need for the Pendulum Deck came in here. Yep. Are you serious? Yep. What? You you buy three of this. You buy three of this. You're pretty much good to go. This is wow. This is premium pack four. This is like I think it takes takes you back like I think at least 15 years. It's the uh, the latest premium pack. So you have like the, the Link Heroes. The Link Heroes is in here as well. And these yeah, are old school. Is, yeah, old these school. Old school. Yeah. Guys, these are all their old school packs. So like, what is this? So. Uh, Whoa, what is this, bro? This is like, this is old school stuff. Like, mm. uh, wow. I don't. I don't even remember that. This is, wow. Yeah, I think they're all limited. Uh, limited edition packs. I think you don't have that in no, the TCG. No. Guys, your packs looks amazing, bro. Look, look yeah. how amazing your packs look. Looks badass. Yeah, this is uh, V Jump. This is where the um, the first ever pendulum sorcerer came into this in this series. Mm. So oh so when you guys have things in V jump, yeah. it comes in packs. Yeah. Like not, there's not 
uh, magazine? There, there. We have both. So there's uh, there's one in magazines, and there's one that uh, we have like every year. We have one in you, they they put them together in a pack. Like for this year, it, it's um this year it's the this year is this pack. Oh, this, this, is, this I, is the V jump pack. This is the V jump pack. You know the the legendary dragons. And oh. There's the the new uh, Judgment Dragon as a synchro. How much are these packs each? I need how Long. 800 baht, so around like uh, 30 bucks. If you buy one V jump, yeah. you get all of you this. Get all of this, yeah. Guys, so right now I'm in one of their boots. Everything here looks super cramped. Why is it so cramped in here, Kitty? Because there's so much stuff in here. There's there's too many products in here. Uh, that's why they have three locations in this single mall, and basically they use the locations for storage. You said? Yeah, pretty much. So they have not just here. They actually have. Uh, they actually bought a house just so that they can store their products. So so they have a warehouse. They have like a warehouse. One of the most interesting thing for me coming here to Bangkok is looking at the different types of sleeves that they have here in OCG land. So uh, let's get started. So right here guys is all their unique sleeves. Look at this guys. Their sleeves are like something else. Like their sleeves are way better than uh, what we have in TSG. Look, guys, look at all these sleeves. Look how beautiful these sleeves are. Can you imagine you guys put these sleeves in your extra deck? Oh my goodness guys, look at this. Your open, your Tarano sleeves. Man, your... Uh, what is it? Ancient gear. Oh, this is, these are the YCS sleeves, right? YOT? Yeah, YOT. So YOT is like a... Yu-Gi-Oh! Open Tournament. Yu-Gi-Oh! Open, uh, Yu -Gi -Oh! Open Tournament. Uh, essentially like a YCS. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, so for... So if you enter a that's, YOT, you get this playmat? Yeah, if you enter a YOT, you get this playmat. Oh my god. So... and Wow! So everyone gets one? Yeah. Wow! So there's... Wow, guys. And do they get packs as well? Yeah, they get they get like... Packs, packs. and this? Yeah, packs and So for entry, yeah, for entry, you get five packs yeah. of the latest set yeah, and you get a max. Exactly, bruh. They have you know, guys. Take a look at this lady sleeves. Look at this uh, blue eyes, azure eyes sleeves. Look the Jaden with the neon sleeves. Yeah, look at all these. Look at all these cool sleeves, guys. Dark magician. Shout out to my boy Denzel. I know you're watching this video, Denzel. I'll get a pack for you. Uh, DDD Dave, if you're watching this, bro. Haven't seen you in forever, but here is your DDD sleeves. These are the World Championship sleeves, which is pretty awesome. Look at that. Look at all these World Championship sleeves. 800 baht. 1,000 baht is around $40, $40 Canadian, by the way. So, which is pretty pricey. Uh, but you know what? If you're coming here to OCG land, you might as well get all the sleeves. Look at all these sleeves, guys. Man. Look at this. You guys, look at this song, Judgment Sleeve. Pretty cool. That's a rescue hamster. Rescue hamster sleeves. Steven will love this, eh? <laughs> I know, right? Steven will love this. Look at that, guys. Zexo. Not Zexo. Lake Brains. Wow. Pretty awesome. Oh, these Kaiba sleeves. Yeah. The, are are they really popular? KC Corporation sleeves. Yeah. Pretty cool. In the OCG, you guys can double sleeves, right? Yes. We can even triple sleeve sometimes. Wow. In the TCG, we can't do that. Yeah. I, I know. I don't know why as well. Oh my goodness. So, why do people double sleeves here? Because uh, they really care about the um, the condition of the card. You know, any slight dent or anything, you know, will uh, make the cost lo lose, is, lose it value. Okay. So, so you know, that's why, that's why people like double sleeve here. Okay, awesome. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, what, what sleeves are these? These are hentai sleeves? Uh, pretty much hentai sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I, I know a lot of men love this. Uh, like, people in the TCG love this stuff, man. Not just TCG, OCG as well. Kitty, what is this? Uh, what is this, Kitty? Mm. Tsunade? Yeah, similar to but it's. I don't think it's Tsunade. And right here, oh, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Yeah. Oh, nice, cool. And this is the dual disc right here. P how many ki baht? P. Kao ham. Nine thousand baht. Nine thousand baht. Ani kai Do they sell this separate? Oh, it's together. Guys, I want this calculator, man. I, I know Bo Tang has this calculator right here. Yeah. Can you hold this for me? All right. Okay, so this is the the the, the five these dual disc, right? Yeah. All right, so it comes with the dual disc, which is pretty cool. Nine thousand baht. Yeah. Nine thousand baht. That's exactly. about like five hundred bucks. Exactly. Nine hundred. Nine thousand baht. Yeah. No, no, that's not. That's like, no, like, that's like three to. 400. Yeah, 400 bucks. 400. This is 400 Canadian, guys. But I want this calculator bro, so bad. I know Boltang has his calculator. I see him use it all the time. Yeah. Damn. Maybe Kaini separate, Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. I was trying to ask him. I, I, I was trying to ask him if he you know, has it separate for me, you know, because I'll, I'll, I'll buy it straight up. But 9,000 is a little bit hefty. The bigger deck box, sleeves, yeah. mat. Yeah. Yo, why do you guys have such amazing products here? I don't know. Seriously. I, TCG, TCG should make something like this. Yeah, like we guys, like, we don't have stuff like this. 
this is this is so sad. You know, I'm sad. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? I need my eye. So Kitty, you know, you showed me around the store, you showed me around the mall. This place is absolutely amazing. It's yeah. pretty huge. Guys, the store here in the OCG. You guys have tons of products. Exactly. Which is pretty amazing. And one of the questions I want to ask you now is because you both you both you played both TCG and OCG, right? Because you said that you, you before you lived in Australia. Yeah. And you played in the TCG there, and yeah. now you're living here in Bangkok, yeah. Thailand. Yeah. You speak fluent Thai. Yeah. He speaks English. <laughs> Do you speak Indian as well? No. Okay, so you speak Thai and of course uh English, okay, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. It's like which format do you like better, TCG format or the OCG format? Sometimes actually, it really depends on the band list because um, I, I don't really like to go with the meta, so I usually I love to play rogue decks. Okay, so he's a rogue warrior. Shout out to Johnny, Asian persuasion, yeah. rogue warrior. Eh? I love rogue decks. Oh, nice, awesome. All right, and uh, especially when I when I saw like Steven's video, uh, it's not like you know his shout out to Steven by the way, because uh, I've seen I've seen the video and I'm, I feel like, hey, this is not this is not actual you know magician. It's not magician. Like, it's you know, something other, different. It's something different. So it's you know it, it looks interesting. You know, it, especially when he introduces Rescue Hamster to the format. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's like it's really amazing though. And actually, I tried that online as well, and a lot of people was like, "What the hell are you playing?" And I'm, I just OTK'd them easily. Right, right. So would you consider Steven to be the, the greatest of all time? I'd say yes. Okay, tell them, Steven, you're the Steven, gold. you're the greatest of all time. I know you guys have three Maxis here. Yes. And we don't have Maxi at all. No, exactly. What are your opinions on that? Uh, Maxis is the only thing that keeps uh, that keeps keeps the, you know, keeps people sane. Oh, <laughs> the maxi is the only thing that keeps people sane. What does that mean? That means that, you know, if, like, let's say if you don't have maxis, right, people just gonna blast off and, you know, like, especially with, uh, like, like, magician. Like, 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 like keep, deck. You know, just keep going. Comboing off. Just keep comboing off, comboing off, comboing off, and, like, nobody can stop that. Basically, like, right now, in the TCG, yeah. we don't have anything to stop that. The only thing we have is Ash and Droll Lockbird. Yeah. But if we don't have those in our hand, and yeah. Goki can still go, go off, exactly. we still lose regardless. See, that's the thing. Um, go to stop uh, to stop Goki or to stop anything that you know that that plays off that you know that can even go through Ash Blossom and can go through uh, Ghost Ogre. You need something that covers the turn, like Maxis, mm. like uh, go, uh, sorry, uh, Draw Lock Bird. Mm. So you need something like that that okay. you know can actually stop. So tell if for for those of you who are watching, would you recommend Maxi to come back? I'd recommend Maxi to come back. To the TGG, 100%. Yes. It's a completely yes. fair card. It is. It's, it's in my personal opinion, I really believe that maxi should either be banned yeah. or, or or it should be at three yeah i believe that it's not fair at one or it's not fair at two i believe that having three maxis in tsg yeah. is probably the fairest choice yes just the same as the ocg because everyone has a chance to have it yeah. in hand right exactly. and dry multiples can also be pretty bad as well but as long as you can stop their combos yeah is what makes Yu Gi Oh playable actually yeah. right all right awesome so that's his opinion on actually uh maxi uh come back in tsg yeah. Do, you personally like maxi being here i love maxi oh my god kitty thanks so much bro thank you so much guys and you know what, guys? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Kitty, thank you so much for sh showcasing the store. All right. uh, you know what? Uh, you know, you literally, guys, I came to Thailand not knowing where to go. He hit me up on my Facebook page. Yeah. And you're like, hi, Sam. My name is Kitty. I live here in Bangkok. I want to show you around. And I was like, yo, this is dope. <laughs> and you know, without you, bro, this video would never happen. So I want to say thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. means thank you very much in Thai. Thank yeah. you so much. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, Kitty, do the honors. Do what? Hit that 2,000 likes. Smash that thumbs up button. You're supposed to say smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. I'll be absolutely. Smash it. Smash it, bro. Tell them to smash it right now. This is Sam and Kitty signing off. All right, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game. I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game. Shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots. I'm a key with it. Like, no, no, this league business. Who you